What is a maglev train? The word maglev comes from the combination of magnet and levitation. Maglev trains take advantage of a physics principle that says two like magnetic poles will repel each other. For instance, the north pole of one magnet and the north pole of another magnet pointed at each other will push away from each other. But if we put a south magnetic pole and a north one together, they will attract. Maglev trains take advantage of both of these ideas, not only to provide levitation, but also propulsion. In order for the train to levitate, the two like poles are forced to repel each other like the magnets shown here. To provide propulsion, the train is outfitted with a north and south pole magnets along the sides. The track also has north and south pole magnets whose poles can be switched quickly. As the poles are switched, the train is attracted to and then repelled by the same magnet. The faster the pole switch, the faster the train goes. Now you may be asking yourself, why is all this necessary? We already have trains. Maglev trains offer one key advantage over typical rail and high-speed rail, and that is minimal resistance. Unlike other trains that must stay connected to the rail, maglev trains can float above the rail, only having to overcome air resistance. The only problem with maglev trains are that they are very expensive, costing between $50 and $200 million per mile. Compare that with a reported $82 million for high-speed rail and a meager $2.5 million for typical rail service. Maglev trains still may have a home if the Hyperloop ever takes off, but that's a video for a different time. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel or check out these cool videos.